Okay, now we're going to talk about fear. And the reason we're talking about fear, I know you want to get into the striking and the hitting and the vital areas and all that stuff. But we got to talk about this first because we want to avoid getting struck by anybody or having to strike them. We don't want to have a bad day, right? We don't want them to have a bad day, but they will if they, you know, if they're asking for it. What are you going to do? You're going to have to give them a bad day, right? So, anyway, fear is very important. Um, I'm going to explain it like this. Uh, you're in an alley somewhere and a dog runs out. And he starts barking at you. If you run away from that dog, he's probably going to chase you. He sees that you're, like, not the alpha. And, like, any animal that has um, a lot of testosterone, like a, a gorilla, uh a bear, anything like that. You don't want to show fear. If you show fear, they're going to walk all over you. So if you're like, no, please, sir, don't hit me, he's going to hit you. That's what bullies do. Bullies pick on weaker people because they're weak themselves. They want to make themselves feel better about themselves, right? So if you see somebody and they're bullying you, don't show them fear. It's important. When, when I showed you before, when you're standing like this, say, hey, I'm warning you. You're not going to be like, I'm warning you, sir. Don't hit me. Please, just don't hit me. And don't look. Don't look him in the eye. No, I, please. No. It's more like this. Hey, buddy, step back. Stay out of my way. I'm not trying to cause any problems here. Just, just get away from me. You're in my personal space. Get, get out of here. I'm going to give you one warning. That's it. That was the warning. Now it's time to get out of here. It's a lot different than, I don't want to hurt you. You know, you don't want to be that guy. You want to be the guy that tells him, hey, get the hell out of here. You're in my space. I don't want to hurt you. I didn't come on this planet just so I can learn martial arts and just go beat people up in the streets. I just want to enjoy my life. I want to go home. I want to see my kids at the end of the day. I want to um, maybe give my mom a call on the phone. I'm not here to fight you, buddy. I got better things to do. So let's talk about different types of fear and how to control them. It's really, it's a hard thing to do. Um, there's different types of fear. So, my one son Galen, he's deathly afraid of frogs, amphibians, snakes. So he won't even come near my pet snake at all. He won't even touch it. So, it's, I know it's funny, it's a harmless, you know, ball python. It doesn't do anything. But to him, that's very frightening. Some people are afraid of heights. Some people are afraid of spiders. Uh, some people like me, I don't like closed spaces, like confined spaces that are really tight. Don't like it you know everybody's got something I'm sure that they're afraid of nobody's not afraid of anything but there's two types of fear so remember those uh, those shows they used to have I think they still have them but they're based off fear you might be on a, a big tightrope somewhere and uh, you have to walk across grab flags or whatever it is you know well you're attached to a bungee cord on your back you, you might be with you know it's a big TV production there's nets underneath you you know that you're not going to die, but it's still scary. It's scary to you, right? Another thing is that riding a roller coaster, you pretty much know you're safe. Now, could you die on a roller coaster? Absolutely. But, you know, if you're at a big theme park that's well known, most likely you're going to get off the ride safe. So that's one type of fear. It's scary, your adrenaline kicks in, but then this uh, type 2 fear is what I call it. This is the fear when you're in your house, and uh, you're with your family, your friends, whoever, and somebody breaks in your house when they are 15 or a knife, they tie you up, they tie your kids up, they got you in a chair sitting there, they're gonna tell you what horrible, sick things they're gonna do to your family. That is a different type of fear. That's real fear. And when that happens, everything shuts off. You're, it's like, you don't hear any sound, and I hope no, none of you ever have to deal with any situation like that because Believe me, you do not want that. You don't want a gun to the back of your head. I've had two to the back of my head. It doesn't feel very good. I've had knives to my throat. And this is what happened. You become, you become very tunnel visioned. All you focus on is that knife and the person in your face. And all sound just kind of blocks out. It's, it's really weird. Um, it's kind of like in the movies when you watch uh, some fight scenes going on or uh, maybe somebody's getting bombed. You know, it's a... Um, military movie and all of a sudden you hear no it's silence that actually happens and it's not good you want to be aware of what who you're fighting you want to be aware of all your surroundings and you, you definitely don't want to be tunnel vision like that because you're not going to see anything coming you have to learn how to control that fear 
And that's something that you're just going to have to learn on your own, but just know that it is there and it, it, will, it will stop you from winning a fight. Uh, even cage fighters have to deal with fear, you know, they go in there and, and then once they start fighting and going into it, the, the fear kind of goes away. It's kind of like stage fright, you know, you, you go in and sing and karaoke or something. You're afraid, then you get up there, you loosen up and then you're okay. But when, when there's a gun to your head and you can't even see the person in the back, things get crazy and you need to know what to do in that situation. You can't let that adrenaline go, go into your system. It's there to help you. It's there to help you, but I, I promise you, it will not help you. It will help you be stronger, but it's not going to help you be a better striker.